Hello, I'm Stacy from the Blue Keystone, helping you love what you wear. Today we're going to take some jeans and we're going to patch them. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do it. Let's get started. The first way is to just take some fabric that you have or that you picked up somewhere and just you just need a piece of it. You just need a piece of this fabric that's large enough to cover that area. So you could put it diagonal and it would kind of cover some of that unsquareness that this is. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do is do it diagonal. Then so that my piece doesn't end up weird and bunchy and lays flat, I'm going to trace it along with some, this is just soap, it's an old piece of soap, it's got lint on it, and notice here how I have that edge over the seam, you really don't want to do that, it's just going to make it harder for you to sew, so try and keep it away from that seam if you possibly can. This is going to be your guideline when you're sewing so you know where it's supposed to be because once you get it on the machine by the time you get this little leg over the machine it's going to be hard to see. There. Now I can see exactly where I want it. It is going to cover my hole. Put this down on here back where my square was and I'm going to put it, pin it. And to make sure that you don't go through all the layers you're going to kind of stick your hand up that leg Now, if you have a sewing machine and you have all these parts in here, you want to try and take those extras off. Most sewing, most sewing machines have a way so that you can make this little part skinnier so that you can stick that leg down in there. All right, now on here I have this situated on here so that this middle line in right in the middle where the needle goes down is actually right over half the patch and half the pants. Then I'm going to change this to a wide a zigzag as wide as it will go. Your stitch length can be the same but you need that wide zigzag so that it grabs the patch and the pants and it also keeps it from fraying. When you get to the corner, leave the needle down and do your best to turn them jeans inside that little arm. Like I said, not going to be easy. You will know when it's all flat when that chalk line lines up with your patch. Pivot again. If possible, it's not going to let me. So. Depends on how big or small your pants are, you may have to do this a couple times, rearrange it. So if you cannot turn it anymore, put it in reverse, do a couple back stitches and forward stitches, and then go ahead and pull it out of the machine. I have it out of the machine and now I've got to try and go down from the top to get there. Alright, so I got there and now I'm lining up my patch with my chalk line and I'm going to zigzag. This time, when I started I didn't do the reverse back and forth because I'm going to overlap it when I get there. This time I'm going to do the reverse back and forth because I won't be coming back here, hopefully, again. really hard to get this as flat as possible and then once I get over here hopefully there won't be so much bunching at the back. I overlapped across there and I'm gonna cut this top thread. This top thread is super easy. The one underneath you may just want to pull out through the top because it is super hard to get to. This one is all done. All 
Alright, as you can see, this hole is pretty bad. This is the cover of my ironing board. So, in order to do this iron on, if I was to just iron it on with this waxy surface, it would stick to my ironing board. So, I am taking just a normal 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I folded it in half because it's pretty narrow down here. And I'm going to stick it inside to get this area hot. Very, very hot. Press it on there for 45 seconds. Whew, that's hot. Whew. Now you can iron it a bit as well. And then you can kind of pull up on the corners and see how well they're going to stick. You want to let it cool before you pull too hard. So we're just going to leave that there. Don't touch it and let it cool till it's completely cool. Okay, now this is completely cooled and so we're going to take it off of here. It's staying quite well all these three corners, but this corner is a little bit loose. I actually would recommend that you take your thread and you just kind of do a little whip stitch for each corner. Alright, so we have our jeans, the, the one that we sewed, and the one that we ironed, the no sew way. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Check out thebluekeystone.com where I sell um, clothing that I sew that's custom made for you. I also sell tutorials on how to start from your measurements and make your own pattern and your own garment the way that it fits you and that it looks good and it's not frumpy. So I encourage you to go check out that. Also like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.